UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is eight years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Slips that left hand. What a punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Wow. Oh, 
Under three minutes now to go in round one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Beautiful hook. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And that one certainly found the target. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Oh, what a nice lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Straight punch lands. Back and forth we go. Single collar tie now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big power shot there. Nice one through there. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Alright, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get hit. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Lands the ground and pound strike. Close guard. Back to the feet. Volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. Now he's got hurt very bad. Very bad. Oh, straight right.
Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! It's over! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eva Dings called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Magic Man. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration.